Last time, we learned the internet is like a giant playground, but sometimes it gets crowded. Today, let's explore how we store all our cool stuff online. Hey, so where do all my funny cat videos go? They can't just float around in the air, right? Exactly. That's where storage comes in. Imagine your computer as your backpack. It can only hold a limited amount of stuff. Think of Archie's archive like a giant school library. It stores all sorts of information, just like books and videos on shelves. So when I upload a picture of my dog, it goes to Archie's archive? Exactly. Archie keeps it safe and sound, so everyone can access it whenever they want. But what happens when the library gets too full of books? Uh-oh, then people might not be able to find their favorite books. That's where Cosmos Cloud comes in. Imagine a super-sized locker in the sky, made out of fluffy clouds. Cool. So, when Archie's archive gets full, our stuff gets moved to the cloud? Sort of. We can still access our information from Archie, but Cosmos Cloud acts like extra storage space. It's like having a bigger backpack for all your stuff. So, to recap, your computer is like your own backpack, holding a limited amount of stuff. The internet, on the other hand, is like a giant playground with two main storage areas. Archie's archive. This is like the school library, where information is stored for everyone to access. Cosmos Cloud. This is like a giant fluffy locker in the sky, providing extra storage space for the internet. Now you know where your cat videos and dog pictures live online. Next time, we'll explore how Web3 lets you own things online, just like your favorite toys in your backpack. Now join me at MyKidsCorporation.com, where the fun never ends.